Hello, I'm the person who writes the WordPress blog Sagittarius Dolly about my arts and crafts and photography. As you can see from the URL below, you know, just there it is. You can see it. Okay, I'll admit it. I've always liked playing with dolls when I was growing up. Sure, I played with a variety of dolls, but my favorite, favorite was Barbie and her friends. I love the fact that you can get friends for her, being able to ch change her outfits, placing her in playsets like a cafe or a Barbie-sized dollhouse, and even taking a doll or two to a friend's house so we could play with her Barbies and mine. As an adult, I'm still drawn to pretty dolls. If money or space were, were no object, I would probably have a home crammed with dolls of every type and size imaginable. I can recall only one time in my childhood where I was turned off of dolls for a while. When I was around seven, my parents were watching a Twilight Zone rerun. The episode was called Living Doll, and it dealt with Talkie Tina, a doll that on the surface seemed lovely, but she turned out to be homicidal. I remember giving up dolls for a few days until I got over that episode, and I resumed my love of dolls again. It seems like here in the United States, whenever there is a fictional story about a living doll, that doll is usually, usually portrayed as a killer, with a more recent example being Chucky from the Child's Play movies. In Asian societies, they tend to take a very different approach towards living dolls, like in the manga series Doll by Mitsukatsu Mihara. It deals with robots that are called dolls, but in reality, they're androids. Kawahara series, manga series dolls, these are also living dolls, but except they're known as plant dolls because these dolls are made from organic materials instead of being android robots. But they are capable of moving and exhibiting free will. There is a Japanese an anime series, Rosen Maiden, which deals with a group of living dolls who were created by a doll maker named Rosen. These dolls are more keen about fighting each other than killing humans, with the last doll standing winning the ultimate prize being reunited, reunited with her creator, Rosen, and being becoming known as Alice. This series has a lot of surreal Alice in Wonderland overtones. There is also another Japanese anime series called Chobits. It deals with a type of robot known as Persicoms, who are capable of not only, only serving a human's needs, but can also surf the internet and even act as, act as a cell phone. Persicoms have very doll-like features, and they range from small portable sizes to human size. This series even delves into the ethical and moral issues like what happens if the, if the human falls in love with his own Persicom, and is it, is it ethical to have a sexual or romantic re relationship with a Persicom? One day I was shopping at Target. I was looking in the aisles when I found this. My friend Kayla. She has a million things to say. I also speak Spanish. Download the free app in Spanish. Kayla can answer almost any question, understand and talk back, tell stories and play games, play offline, online or offline, kids safe internet. It's amazing what she knows. Man, sounds almost like something out of Chobits.